In 2017, I had the courage to look at several rolls of canvas that I had held for 45 years in a storage warehouse. And that was early work that I had left aside when I was first showing at Andre Emmerich Gallery. The hardest thing about being a painter is you're thrown back on your own taste. You're there alone, or maybe somebody's helping you who's an assistant, and it's just you, the paintings, your thoughts, your colors, and you're trying to say, is it good? Now that's a lot different from putting the paint on. Putting the paint on, you're definitely putting the paint on. You're submerging yourself. I was painting on the floor. I was letting my unconscious spill out. I was not editing myself. I was leaning on the idea of myself as a catalyst to making this work. And I, I was judging my eye from 1976 when I rolled them up. And I, I was thinking, I don't know, can I count on that person? What was I thinking when I rolled them up? Over time, I started very cautiously going back into the same kinds of paintings that they were. And the paintings certainly were tremendously influenced by Jackson Pollock. When I was studying at Hunter, uh, he was the main person that any of us students were considering. How did he do it? What did he do? How can we build on that? Is it possible to build on that? So I thought, okay, well, could I even do this now? It's 50 years later. And I found that it was totally, of course, it was a totally different world um, than what I had left, and you couldn't get the canvas. You couldn't get the same canvas. The canvas had been altered. The canvas was now made in India. The stitching was different. The paint didn't absorb the same way. Not only that, the paint was different. So I had to, over a period of time, adjust and readjust to these differences and see if this project was at all viable. And Eric Firestone, who I met around a couple of years later, was very interested in this idea and the project. And then we decided to put a show together of the new work with the early work, which has been a very exciting experience for me. This is all about uh, how colors are working together and what they can do with one another and how you can create a, a color world, which is the title of the exhibition. The sum total of the colors is more than any individual color. All of these paintings have to do with uh, physical movements. I'm moving over pretty large areas. So they take in my whole arm, they take in my legs, and they're exhausting actually, physically. That experience of, of seeing those paintings for the first time since, uh, let's say, 1976, when I rolled them up, it was, you know, one of the extraordinary moments of my life, I would say. And I would say that as impersonal as I am, or was, or still am, they, they had the quality of me that I know deep down, something in there I understood, let's put it that way. But I, I wasn't the same person anymore. My father uh, was an amateur poet, and uh, he would read particularly T.S. Eliot, uh, Prufrock, and also The Wasteland. Now, I was eight or nine, uh, so I didn't exactly understand what the poem was about, but I, I responded to the poem, and what I was responding to, I realize now, or realize later, was the cadence, the rhythm of Eliot, which is hugely important that the rhythm of the words and the way they come together uh, uh, have a feeling. The feeling is comprised of the images within the poem that he uses, <clears throat> which, is the, which is the idea of depersonalization. No painting I do is about me. It's about color. That happens to be my topic. I didn't choose the topic. The topic chose me. And that's a, that is one of the fascinating things about being a painter, is you really have to pay attention to what's happening, you don't superimpose your own idea on anything ever. You receive the idea and you go with the idea. I think the way the colors dissolve into each other, particularly this uh, 
orange moving into the blue, all, all come together to create a new thing. What T.S. Eliot was talking about is that the colors on the interaction of the colors create a mood which is new and, and about feeling that none of this would have otherwise. It's, it's the connections that create the event. Nobody wants a painting or any art that's too personal. Too personal is not interesting. I'm not interested in who I am, what I did, what I had for breakfast, who my mother was. I'm not interested in any of that. I'm just interested in myself as a, as a tool or an element that can create something that perhaps other people will be moved by and want to look at.